Welcome. My name's Shane. I've just uh, acquired one of these air fryers. I've been looking at them for some time and um, they're rather appealing. They hardly use any oil and cook with hot air and circulate around. So this is my first time at a poultry meal. So I'm going to try chicken, crispy chicken strips with China, five Chinese spice. So what I've got here is a bag, which has got a third a cup of plain flour in it, half a teaspoon of uh, Chinese five spices. I'm just gonna put the chicken into the bag in little batches, shake it round. Place them in the bowl, ready to go in the... That one's not quite coated, so another bit of a coat. Put them in the bowl, ready to go into the air fryer. Last night, I used it for the first time and I made some French fries. Bit undercooked to begin with, put them back in, gave them an extra few minutes and they turned out really quite nice and crispy. So here, here I go with these. Now preheated the air fryer at 200 degrees. And I think that was a problem last night, I didn't preheat. So I've preheated it tonight. It's a Smith and Noble and the operating instructions are basic. Um, there are no recipes. Trying to find recipes online is quite challenging. Hence the reason why I'm doing this, to try and share some recipes. Now, this here is an adaptation of a recipe that I've found. So hopefully it will work out. Roasted cherry tomatoes and I'll do some steamed veggies. There's probably some broccolini and some beans to complement the meal. Okay. I'll put these in the air fryer in a few minutes, half a minute's time, and then I'll prepare the steamed veggies while these are cooking, place this in the steam, uh, in the air fryer, and come back and see what it's like. The air fryer has now been preheated, so I'll undo the air fryer. I'll place the chicken in here. Spray it with a bit of olive oil. Place it back into the air dryer. 10 minutes at 200 degrees. I'll start it and I'll come back after 10 minutes. I'll put in the tomatoes and in the meantime, I'll get the vegetables ready for the steamer for the meal. Okay, it's um, nearly at its time. It's had 10 minutes. So I'll take them out. I'll give them a bit of a stir around with a wooden spoon. Because it's Teflon coated, don't use a metal spoon. You'll scratch it and things will stick in the future. So paste to use a wooden spoon so you don't um, scratch the surface. So just waiting for it to turn off now okay so I'll open up the drawer I'll give it a bit of a stir around looks nice and crispy starting to head in that right direction 
So you can see what it's like at the moment. So I'll just give them another bit of a spray. Now what I'll do is that I'll add a punnet of cherry tomatoes. Put it back in. Increase the temperature back up to 200. Press start for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes I'll have another look, see if it's cooked and then I'll serve up with the steamed veggies. Okay, another 10 minutes has just elapsed. So I'll, it's just stopped, so I'll pull out the tray. I'll have a look. And it appears that it's cooked nice and crispy. The tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, have roasted well in the air fryer. So I'll get the steamed veggies plate it up and serve it. So here we have it. I've plated them up. Five spice crispy chicken with roasted cherry tomatoes, steamed green beans with broccolini. This would make an excellent low carb meal.